All right, sup, Chooms. Welcome back to the Path of Rage and the next episode of our Cyberpunk 2077 playthrough. As always, this game is not for children. Don't let them watch it. Uh, also, before we get started, we just passed the 300 subscriber mark, which is awesome. You guys are the best. Uh, I'm going to do a live stream on Sunday at 8, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll have the Discord up and a link in the description below. Um on that episode so you guys can jump in chat with me and jump into some games and we'll just play some shit for a while and have a good time because uh hitting 300 subscribers is just there's something cool about it and i'm happy to share my excitement with you in the meantime let's get stuck into cyberpunk and get back to jackie's a friend-a Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. This is true. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. He was so psyched. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there. Yeah. <clears throat> Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? <laughs> Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Oh, Jackie. That a... mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous, mm. but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Mm. An aquarium. It used to be tacos. And taco was? Miss Fish, a dwarf shark, like Minnie. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Mm -hmm. Jackie's favorite tequila. Oh, still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. What? The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. <clears throat> Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. 
kicked his butt, told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Hmm. Isn't there a book out here that I saw? Yeah. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Hmm. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Let's see what else there is. I knew I saw that out there. It's gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Nice still. Don't know if I could have got it all. Might worth trying. Arch Bike Shop. <laughs> That's actually Keanu Reeves' motorcycle company. Okay, so I can pick the tequila bottle, the belt, or the book. And that one actually... That one actually kind of suggested Jack. the book. Pure and simple. Let's do that. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. <clears throat> I think there's nothing else to see here. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What'd she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. <laughs> right. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Well's way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Oh, there we go. Okay. I thought I locked her out. P, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please.
I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. <laughs> and it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. Feels like it happened a century ago. At another time. In another place. Jackie saved my life. And then, years later in Night City, he saved it again, at a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then, but it would not have happened without him, Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for, loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He always knew what he wanted, and he took it without asking. But most importantly, Everyone saw Jackie as a grinning charmer who saw the good in everyone, everything. But they were wrong. Jackie Wells was a hell of an ambitious chum who never gave up, and whose drive cost him his life. But he did in life what he said he'd do, reach for fortune and fame. No fear in eyes or heart. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. 
Rest easy, Chu. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, B. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Mm. Misty. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. You... You sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. Cool. Campos all torn up. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. I'm gonna miss him. I wonder if he'll be as torn up after you die. I already do. Oh, chingado. Don't go start <laughs> something, eh? Me too, cabrón. Me too. Here's to Jackie. Died off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. Well, uh, I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. To be fair, I've never done a playthrough of this where I have tossed the drink in the fire or whatnot. Pour you another? For Jaquito? Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar in his favorite spot where he always used to sit. Poor. For Jackie. Mm. Mm. Amen, brother. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. <clears throat> I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. I think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. <clears throat> well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. All right, give me a break. All right, let's go. Not the way she was looking at me, she wanted to talk. All right, now. Leave the bar, yeah, duh. Oh, that's the guy in in our uh, mega mega building. Lupe's been handling the loss pretty good. She's a strong. Here we go. Now we are immediately switching. Oh crap! Switching to the arch and making it favorites. There it is. Way down the street. Okay, now. <sighs> oh, we'll do that. Right there. I'm not worrying about jumping into the main storyline every time. 
My whole point is I want to have fun. Okay, I gotta change my character's pants. Oh, it switched on. This motorcycle is so much easier to control than that car. That car is horrible. I spoke too soon. Dude! <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie, city wise, uh, whatnot, kind of gameplay wise and whatnot, it, Cyberpunk was everything I was hoping GTA would be. Maybe it's just that extra little spicy theme. I like a bit more. Stop it. You don't know me, but you will. Name's Dino. Deal with downtown city center. V. Yeah, I know. What about you? Odd stuff. Need anything you call me. Remember, he knows everybody. Good to know. Oh, oh. dude! Oh, oh, oh. Bastard! So much for not getting a scratch on it. I'm sorry, Mama Wills. How badass this looks with my lame looking pants on. <laughs> Definitely got to change this outfit up. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, dude. Is it stuck? There we go. What is that symbol? Oh, that's the metro. Okay. That purple symbol on the minimap. I wasn't certain what that was. That's probably a uh, cyber cycle. Let's check the map. Yeah. So we're going to go check this out here, and then we'll go do a cyber cycle. If it's within our range. <laughs> That's one thing I haven't gotten into in my playthroughs before this either is the crafting system, really. Let's see what's good. Take your pick. Hey. Ah, it's this thing here. So this lets me use the smart weapons. This lets me use power weapons.
This is a better version of the power weapon one. I'll pick it up. It doesn't cost me anything for right now. Uh, and I'm going to re-equip this one. Oh, no. Yeah. There we go. Now, let's check out what else we can get. Legs. Can I get my double jump? There we go. I must have that. Uh, now... Operating system. Do we have better ones? Yes, we do. Fifteen six five one. Fifteen percent weapon damage. Not worried about that. Forty percent longer to trace you. I like that. Duration. Better damage. I like this. Can I afford it? Oh, I absolutely can. There we go. Got a new cyber deck. And now we can take this and get our rocket launcher. This one stuns. Yeah, that's the, the, the burning one. That's just straight up damage. I think I like that one the best, actually. I can put that in there, but let's let's see first. There's something else we might want. Slows time. No, I don't care about that. Don't care about that. 25% movement speed. No. Headshot damage. Movement speed. No. I'm looking for stuff that all focuses on the, the net running and getting RAM back. Plus one RAM. I'll take that and it beefs up my grenade reacher. Ah, there we have it. There we go. Okay, and we still got two points to go. We can't do any of that. Ram recoup. Re receiving damage restores ram. Equal to two. That's not bad. I don't know if I want that, though. I will take damage, that's for certain. No, I don't want to do that. No, it's what I have already. Roshis, do we have? We got better ones here. Highlights your enemy behind cover. Highlights cameras and turrets. Explosives. Camera detection. That's better than what I have. Not by much. Highlights enemies behind cover. I think I'm going to go with that. There we go. Oh. Carrying capacity, 50 armor and movement speed. And carrying capacity, but... And 2% grenade charge. That's not bad. Bionic joints, which is just armor. I don't... I've got that installed already. You know what? Screw it. I'll, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. We had the money. There we go. We've upgraded our gear a bit. We're a little bit better off. Hmm. 
Next thing we'll have to do as well is upgrade our, our weapons. Now. Why do I have... No? <laughs> Oh crap. Here. Oh. Better. <laughs> That's better at least. I have to replace the thing. If I got to see my character on the bike then I'll get him some cool threads but good enough. Okay. All right, let's continue. Now, let's go get this cyber cycle. Oh, 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 oh. Cyber deck. Gotta put my stuff in here. Damn. Okay. That would have been nice to have. Wow, I've got multiples here. Okay, um... Go with that. That. Reboot optics. Malfunction and. I never use that. Well, disassemble that one. I've already got one of those. Yeah. And we'll put ping in there. Ping is useful. I just never use it to, uh, for, for the most part. tracing my location that's what I want to know seriously who is it him Ooh, better cyber work capacity nice yeah for real who I should have pinged him. Now, I don't know who's who's tracing me. So one thing I find awkward about these missions, it says you got to keep them alive, but everything I do to fight them would kill anyone else.
You going, demon? Oh, that hurt. Ooh, I took that just in time. I've got so much more RAM now! Oh shit, I can't heal! Die, dude! Failed? Oh. The, the quick hack failed. Jesus. Yeah, I guess I could have blown up the cars to take them out, too. What am I looking for? There it is. Okay. Oh my. Reflective metal weave. Okay, we're going to take the fast travel. Oh, dude, back to our apartment. I don't know if you guys can hear that over the mic. There's something loud going on, uh, going on outside, right behind my house. I gotta talk to Barry too. Okay, I wanted to come here. I've got at least decent looking stuff in here, don't I? Yeah, give me that. Sure, why not? <laughs> What's with the blue on the back? There we have it. All right, am I not a badass now? Yes, I am.
Eventually, I'll end up getting a uh, a netrunner suit like T Bug and running around like that. Show everybody how ninja I am. Hey Barry, everything all right in there? Okay, obviously not. Now, we're gonna go back to the fast travel. Before we head out to, where do we want to head out to? Meet with Takemura. Eh, shit, what, why not? We'll go out there, meet with him. And then we got a couple of uh, other jobs here. Check out what those are. That's right, I said I wanted to get rid of those. You know what the worst thing is about this place? Hmm. You know, it's funny when, when you look back at the launch of this. Whoa, some serious ghosting going on there. When you look at the uh, launch of this game, the state that it was in, how unplayable it was, uh, to what it is now, and this just utterly amazing looking game. And so immersive. I just get sucked right into this game and I actually have to remind myself to like talk and engage with you guys a little bit on the downtimes in the game. Sound off in the comments below. Do you prefer it that way or would you like, you know, less commentary, just a little bit more focus on the game, uh, occasional comments notwithstanding, or do you, would you rather I mean, more talkative like in my MechWarrior playthroughs? I'd love to hear from you. Sound off. And if you do like the content, like and subscribe. And hopefully, join me on Sunday for that uh, live stream. It's going to be fun. Now, as good as this looks in it, look at this. Here, I'll take that screenshot. There's the thumbnail. A game where I actually check the both ways before I cross the street. Oh shit's going down. Get the val Valentinos. Reloading. Tiger claws. go I gotta admit this is it's kind of cool doing the net runner build more cyberware capacity nice like I said at the beginning of the playthrough I have a tendency to, to play this game like all guns blazing yeah I'll, rob Get lost. yeah, I'll rob your friend right in front of you. Yeah. That is... <laughs> Shit. Had no idea things turned out so bad. I saying 
I lost my thought right in the middle of that because this is so... It gets me right into it, man. <laughs> I love it. Can we Sid. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. <laughs> Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You're thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Mm -hmm. Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corporal agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? Hmm. Mm. Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. <laughs> I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. <laughs> so what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he ah. murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip. The relic is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are ah, its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist, thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. <laughs> now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. 
Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Hmm. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Hmm. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found, things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Hmm. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed, gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree. I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go the buddy route with him. I always go leave me alone, push him out as quick as possible. I'm gonna do this a totally different way. You know, you got some. For the nerve. most part, some First things are still to gonna happen. Me. Now you want to be my pal, make like nothing happened. You know, you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. <laughs> what do you want? 
And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. <laughs> hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. <laughs> You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know, Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. <laughs> is this? Hey, look. Hmm. Interesting. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? You've either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Eh, more likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe I ask them both. My, oh my, look at him. Oh yeah, now we start getting uh, uh, places we can buy. I think I actually like that one a lot. Bring a sale. Robert Wilson. Oh, he's the dude from uh, the gun short gunshot. Okay. Mm. New contact contact out of Judy Judy Alvarez. All right, folks, and I think we're going to leave it there. That is the hour mark, 58 minutes and 49 seconds. So we'll cut it off there. That's a good spot to stop, I think. We'll pick it up right where we left off. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you did. Uh, sound off in the comments below, like always. Again, I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think about uh, if you want me to be more vocal and yappy during the playthrough or less so you can soak it in a bit more uh i'm down with either one and again hopefully you guys will join me on sunday for the 300 subscriber live stream live stream so i can celebrate with you guys until then i've been rage at games and i'll see you around night city bye bye